Hey folks, Lisa Hendrickson here from Call That Girl with another quick Outlook video of the day. Today's video is how to manually back up your Microsoft Office 365 Exchange account to your local C drive. Many folks don't want to pay for the online backup service for Office 365. It's kind of costly, so I'm going to show you here in a two minute video how to do it yourself every week. All right folks, you want to follow my pink pointer and I'll walk you through the steps. So the first thing you want to do is go up to file over here and then come down to your account settings, account settings again, and to prepare for the backup, you wanna do one thing first, is go make sure that all your email is down from the server, so you wanna click on your account and slide the slider to all. Please take note that if you have a lot of email in your Exchange server, that doing all might bring down too much for your hard drive, so if you don't, you're only gonna get backed up what you have in your cash account there of the one year. But most folks do want all of it, so slide it to all and hit next, then close Outlook and let it update. It'll take a while for it to update to get everything down from the server. I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it. Well, let's hit close there and come back over to file. Open and export is how we start the backup, right here. Import, export. And you're gonna come over here, export to a file, hit next. Pick Outlook data file, which will create us a PST. Hit next. Put your mouse right here at the top. Make sure include all sub, include subfolders is checked. Hit next. Over here you wanna hit browse. And typically Outlook by default will select the Outlook files in the documents, but if you have OneDrive, it'll probably put it in the OneDrive documents. I do not recommend putting backups in OneDrive. To me, OneDrive is a file synchronizing program, not a backup solution, but since I'm backing up, I just try to have folks put it in their documents here. And then you can name it down here. I already called it Backup Exchange. I'm just gonna add a little A there because I've already made one. And then we hit OK. And if you wanna allow duplicates, that's fine. Then hit Next, or sorry, hit Finish. So when you hit Finish, you're gonna see a screen with the password, do not put one in unless you want to password protect it, but just remember to write it down because you'll need it if you ever need to open this file up. Then hit OK. And now the blue circle is gonna spin and it's gonna start the backup. Now just keep in mind, do not touch Outlook while this is happening, otherwise it'll corrupt the backup. I'm gonna hit cancel here. But your backup might take five minutes, it might take one minute, who knows how long it'll take depending on how much mail you have in your exchange account. And when it's done, then you can go back to those files and make sure those get backed up in your Windows backup or your Carbonite or whatever you choose. This is a one-time backup. It will not continue or, um, or keep doing it. You have to do it manually on your own. That's it, folks. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 612-865-4475, or you can reach me via email, lisa at callthatgirl.biz. I'm happy to help.